Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Good morning, Skyhawks. Today is April 20, 2018. I'm Maria Flores. I'm Miguel Rodriguez. And you're watching Skyhawk News. Anyone interested in joining the Color Guard team next year? Come be a part of an exciting 20... I know, I was like, oh! Three, three, two... Anyone interested in joining the Color Guard team next year? Come be a part of an excellent fall 2018 season. If you want to learn how to perform with flags and equipment, for the first clinic will be Tuesday, April 24th in H107 from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. If you want to attend, you need to see Ms. Kiggins in the counseling office to pick up your paperwork. You must have the waiver signed to participate. Students, if you're enrolled in Forensic Biology for next year, please check your student email for an update. Let's check out our top five prom nominees. It's an honor to be nominated for top five and think that my peers would want me to be a princess because everyone always doubted me for being at Princess Rianne, but... It feels really good to be on top five. I've literally wanted this since I was like eight years old, so I'm very happy and I'm grateful for those who voted for me to be on top five. I was pretty happy. I was actually really excited because I've been wanting this for a while. Honestly, like, I'm just so blessed. You know, like this is this is this is my moment. I just think this is my destiny. <laughs> I'm really happy to be on prom court because it was kind of unexpected, but I'm happy to be with the girls that I'm on court with. It feels pretty good being on top five, uh, being uh, nominated by the whole the student body, uh, juniors and seniors. I was happy that I made it. I wasn't expecting it because there was a lot of like great girls that were on top 15. So it was just like an exciting thing to be in, to be a part of. I was honestly surprised. Um, I was actually surprised with being top 30. I didn't really expect being top five, but when it was announced that I was, I was really um, happy and uh, excited to be part of a court with a bunch of my friends. So uh, I'm really excited. Congrats, you guys. Were you there for 8th grade night? Nah, but here's a pretty cool recap of it. Okay. I'm excited to see the upcoming freshmen. Maybe someone will be interested in Gamers Club. <laughs> okay, uh, wait, Xbox or PlayStation? Nah, it's all about PlayStation. I totally agree. Let's see what goes on during Gamers Club. Hi guys, my name is Jeremy Porva, and I'm a member of Gamers Club. In Gamers Club, the students get together and play video games 
and Mr. McDermott's class. Alright, so sometimes in Gamers Club, we don't play tournaments because we have free time. We play any games we want. We only have tournament when Mr. McDermott says we have tournament. And the winner of this tournament will get a prize. And the rules are no spamming and no bragging. Follow the rules. Alright, in Gamers Club, um, we have Gamers Club meeting every other Thursday. And Gamers Club is after school from 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. And it's an E210, Mr. McDermott. So I just want you to know everybody, please come to Gamers Club, it's a lot of fun. I just want to say shout out to all my friends for helping me. And I want to say shout out to uh, Mr. Lopez for helping me. Thank you Mr. Lopez. And thank you Mr. Hannon for helping me. And thanks Mr. Casas for making me a peer tutor. I really like it. Alright, thank you. Hey man, that was so cool. I know, totally. Go Gamers Club! Why are you cheering? Because this week's Scholar of the Week is not only killing it on the sidelines, but also with their schoolwork. So whenever you can just keep on talking, it's on now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Layla and I'm this week's Scholar of the Week. I don't though. I don't know. I feel like I've motivated myself. Okay, that's a good yeah for that. For me, it's always been like cheer first, which is really bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't always had my priorities straight. I've always put cheer before school, but um, if I could change things, no, I wouldn't change things. Cheer is just so much funner. So free start. Ah. <laughs> uh, Thunder's not a word. That's why I should probably focus on school, but... <laughs> Shout out to CJ and our beautiful daughter, Flash. She's one years old. And all of my lovely friends, I love you guys. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want anyone to live like I live. <laughs> I feel like there's so much better ways to do it than I did it. Okay. My advice to underclassmen would be to don't stress yourself out too much and just have fun and do what you want and what makes you happy because in the end, it's all about you. Aww. Okay. So, um... So, um... So, um... <laughs> so, I'm gonna be businessing in major... <laughs> what? So I'm going to be majoring in business and I don't know what I'm going to do with that major yet because I don't know what I want to be when I grow up, but I'm just going to go through with school and see where the wind blows me. Um, I don't have any regrets because I think everything happens for a reason and everything worked out just fine for me, so I don't regret anything. No regrets over here. Keeping up with cheer and schoolwork, oh my god, it must take a lot of time. Yeah, this week's artistic Skyhawk has to do multiple things around here as well. Who is it? Oh, he dressed up as Pablo Escobar for Halloween. Oh. Yeah. Hi, I'm Melvin Rivas, and I'm this week's Artistic Skyhawk. It feels pretty good to be an um, Artistic Skyhawk. It feels good to be recognized for putting all the hard work into making video, filming, and editing, especially just the process and how long it takes to just make a solid work. Who inspired me was um, Hishiro Honda because um, he made the first Godzilla movie, and I watched it when I was younger, and I would always go to the VHS store and just um, rent it, and just constantly watch it, and I would go back and return it and rent the same one. So I always, I would say I want to make a monster movie. Uh, 
Logan's been in the program now for three years. I've known him since he was a freshman. And, and um, as a freshman, Melvin was still kind of in his shell, but definitely by the end of his sophomore year and for sure his junior year, he started kind of showing his creative side. And with Melvin, what, what, um, he's a quiet person, but he always is always paying attention. He's always kind of looking and learning. And that's really what sets Melvin apart from other people is that he's not just happy being good, he wants to be great. And he's always trying new things and exploring new ways to be creative with his filming and editing and choices. Shout out to um, Link Crew, everybody in Link Crew. Shout out to all my teachers. I would say all my teachers, but they're just, I can't name them all. Just shout out to all my teachers. Shout out to my coaches, the tennis team, and especially Team Reductions. Love y'all. Keep it up, Melvin. Now let's see what a Daisy has for us over in sports. Hey Skyhawks, I'm with Daisy Akonko and I'm back with sports. Last week in sports, we had our boys and girls swim team who dominated Indian Springs. The girls with a score of 133-8 to eight and the boys with a score of 106-60. to 60. Our 4x1 team of Austin Sparks, Preston Dam, Nicholas Garcia, and Jonah Arcina set a new school record. Our softball team had some trouble playing against Grand Terrace and unfortunately lost. They finished up at the La Miranda tournament where they beat Hesperia and lost to St. Paul. Also, our varsity baseball team played a tough game but unfortunately lost to Grand Terrace at the 66ers Stadium this Saturday with a score of 9-6. Let's take a look at what the swim team has going on this week. We also have our varsity baseball team playing Colton away and our softball playing home. Don't forget to go support. I'm a Daisy Akanko and that'll be it with this week in sports. See you around, Skyhawks. Well, that'll do it for this week, Skyhawks. I'm Miguel Rodriguez. And I'm Maria Flores. And, and this has been Skyhawk News. News. Stay safe and have fun at prom. It's extra view. I'm your host, Miguel Rodriguez. Now, let's introduce our first contestant, Johan Ramirez. Uh, how are you doing, sir? Hi, I'm Johan Ramirez. Let's take a seat. Our next contestant, Marco Alvarado. And our final contestant, Alex Martinez. Question. Are you guys ready? Yeah! What color is the sky? <laughs> Red! <laughs> yes, sir. Well, back in my days in Mexico, the sky was orange. Man. I'm sorry, sir. That is not correct. Yes, sir. The sky is blue! No, I knew that! Point for Joe. <laughs> Now, question number two. Keep in mind that these questions do get more difficult as we progress. Now, what did the teacher assign as homework to the cholo? 
an ending! Sorry for that, right? Mm. The teacher assigned the Cholos an essay. That's what I said! And one point for Marco. Third question. When is the 4th of July? May 5th! I'm sorry, sir. That is not correct. Isn't it sorry, sir. That is incorrect as well. The 4th of July! Congratulations. One point to Martinez.